In December 2024, Microsoft quietly dropped a tech demo that should have made headlines for all the right reasons. An entire Quake 2 level designed by AI. At the end, don't forget those like and subscribe buttons. We're still growing, and your support keeps this human AI collab going strong, so keep those suggestions coming. Built using an internal tool dubbed the Level Design Copilot, it showcased how artificial intelligence could generate playable environments inspired by classic game design. It was meant to be a milestone. Instead, it sparked outrage. Let's rewind. The tool was part of Microsoft's Azure Game Development Virtual Machine, a platform geared toward helping developers prototype and build faster with AI. At first glance, it seemed promising. But when the gameplay demo hit the web, the reception was anything but warm. PC Gamer called it nauseating. They weren't exaggerating. The frame rate was choppy. The level design felt off. The overall experience didn't just feel unfinished, it felt wrong. And yet John Carmack, the co-creator of Doom and Quake, defended it. He acknowledged the flaws but stood firm in his belief. This is what progress looks like. According to Carmack, building AI tools that can match or someday surpass human level designers is not only possible, it's inevitable. He compared this demo to the earliest 3D games, which were clunky and limited, but laid the groundwork for what we have today. So where's the line? The backlash wasn't just about performance. It was about the soul of game design. Game creators, critics, and fans questioned the very idea of outsourcing creative intuition to algorithms. When a level feels wrong, is it because the AI missed something technical? Or because it didn't understand what feels good to play? This debate isn't new, but it's reaching a tipping point. According to an April 2025 NPR piece, the gaming industry is at a crossroads. On one side, the demand for faster, cheaper development is pushing studios to adopt AI workflows. On the other, there's growing concern that we're sacrificing artistic vision for efficiency. AI isn't inherently bad, but when tech becomes the driver instead of the tool, things get murky. There's another layer here. Many indie developers and game modders are raising a different alarm. AI-generated content is flooding the market. Assets made with little oversight, no artistic consistency, and often trained on human work without credit. That's a problem. Because game design isn't just geometry and code. It's storytelling, atmosphere, and emotional rhythm. And no matter how powerful the AI, those things are still, at least for now, deeply human. So what happens next? Do we embrace Carmack's vision and push forward learning as we go? Or do we draw a line, insisting that some parts of game design are too human to automate? We're not here to answer that for you, but it's a conversation worth having. Drop your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget that like. Stay aware, stay in control, and always stay perceptive.